Hi. You know, I spend a lot of time planning food and thinking about what I'm gonna eat, and that's a lot of the questions that I get from you guys, and I will be the first person to say that I am proud of what I've done in the last three or four years and how I have um, course corrected from eating fake foods to eating real foods to actually, I know we joke about it and people make fun of me all the time in, in a funny way, uh, and I take it fine um, about how much broccoli I eat and things like that, but I'm proud of it because I feel like I'm really, I've really gotten to the place where we're supposed to be. Now, not everybody's gonna do that, but I know a lot of you are thinking about food and a lot of you are thinking about how you're eating and your diet. And I wanna give you just a couple of thoughts on that um, for the next couple of minutes. I went back to school, which I'm so excited about and I'm thrilled to be able to share with you guys. Uh, you know, it's not crazy. There for a while, when we, I was talking about it with my husband and my family and actually with my friend Alberti from QVC who uh, recommended it because I'm so into fitness and health and nutrition and I'm so devoted to um, really giving my family and myself a better chance than what I've seen happen in my family in the past. You know, my mom and, and, and those types of things and the cancers and the dementias and doing everything that I can. And I know that we don't really have control. That's all God. But I think that we can do the best things for our bodies and for our families. Hence, I've been very devoted to it. And I feel better when I'm eating the right way and exercising. So I decided to go back to school. I'm going to uh, Integrative Institute of Nutrition. Uh, I will become a health coach. Not that I'll necessarily practice that because I do love my job. So I'm not going anywhere, not to worry. But I think what I do, if you guys watch me on QVC or you read my books or you listen to me on these videos, I'm kind of that's kind of what I'm doing anyway. I'm really here, as I've said numerous times, uh, my purpose in life, in life is to make faith come alive in others. And faith can be a lot of different things. For me, it's spirituality, it's Jesus Christ, but it can also be faith in yourself and your body and health, and it's all connected. So when I'm on TV talking to you about things and you know that my, my, my favorite things to present are health and wellness and inspiration and all of that, I'm kind of pumping you up as it is, right? I am going down that path. So to get some formal training, to get some uh, letters behind my name, to be able to have um, credits and courses in food and chemistry and biology and fitness and all that makes a whole lot of sense. So I'm really excited about that for, to start with. But what I was learning this first week, um, and it was really, really great, and, and some of the teachers that we've had, what it made me think a lot about is not about the food on your plate and how much time I do spend focusing on that. I'm not saying don't do that. Actually, that's not true. This week I'm saying let's not do that. I will continue to give you recipes and give you ideas on how to eat and, and my opinion and what's worked for my body and for my family, but do know that everybody is different. There are some core principles like eating more whole grains and vegetables and uh, everybody should cut out the sugar. It just You just should. If you can do one thing, this this week, stop eating sugary drinks, sodas, anything with sugar in it, any fruit drink, any of that. Just stop. Um, and then slowly cut out sugar in general. Little amounts of sugar, and it's all about balance. You'll have a cookie from time to time, but you know what I'm saying, right? Don't go crazy. So I will continue to do all of that, but this week what I want you to do, especially if you're somebody who is very interested in, in changing the way they eat and fitness and things like that, is not think about the food on your plate, but I want you to think about the rest of your life. How are you being fed there? Where are you hungry, for lack of a better word? Where are you lacking? Part of the reason I probably focus a lot on food and fitness is because I feel like I can have some control in that area. Whereas in the rest of my life, not the rest of my life, but a lot of portions of my life, I feel very out of control. I can't control necessarily my three kids all the time, especially coming from a family that has adopted and biological and the different you know, levels and emotionality that comes behind that. I can't control my extended family and where they're at and the expectations they have for me and that I have for them. I can't always control my emotions. I'm a very highly emotional person. I can't control what's happening at work. I love my job, but I don't always feel 100% fulfilled in what I'm doing. Um, I can't control my husband. Of course, like everybody, I would think I want, I want a stronger, happier marriage. So part of the reason why I focus a lot on food and a lot on 
exercise is because those are places where I excel and I've got some control over it. So in order for me to be a healthier person, and this is where it applies to you, because I want you know, I'll take it back to you, total health is very little to do with what you're eating. That will come. And there's, there's books to read and there's diets to follow if that's what you need. And I can help you with that and I could name a billion other people who will help you with that. But what nobody can really help you with is for you to get to that level by addressing and trying to fix those parts of your life where you're truly hungry and lacking. And so it may be symptomatic in the rest of your life, in the size that you're at if it's not where you wanna be, in the lack of health that you have, in the um, you know lack of going to the doctor or going to the doctor all the time. Really step away from the food for a second and think about in your life, what are the parts and what are the areas that you need to focus on more? And then perhaps the food will come. So things like your relationships, and I think a lot of us right now, I've talked about this before, loneliness is a big problem and we'll turn to food because we're lonely. So let's fix that. Let's have some real connections. Let's call a person. Maybe you're sad, maybe you don't feel great about yourself. Okay, let's fix that. Stop hanging out with that person who makes you feel bad. I took a cycle class this morning. I love Echelon. Shout out to Echelon. Um, Nicole Griffin's my absolute favorite. Um, she's one of like a girl crush. <laughs> but she, we were, I was in a class with her this morning and she we were doing arms, arm weights, and she was talking about cutting people out of your life that don't bring you joy. And what really hit home to me was she said, maybe you feel guilty because they were important in your life um, and now they're just sucking the joy out of you. You don't owe them anything. You can move on. Doesn't mean you have to be mean about it, but don't feel like you have to keep on going back to that well if it's not really satisfying your thirst. So maybe you need to cut somebody out. Maybe you need to spend less time with a family member that really isn't feeding you. These are all things for you to think about this week. So obviously, since I've gone to nutrition school, I'm gonna be talking a lot about health and wellness, which is great, and I'm excited about it. But right now, I really want you to think about yourself, where you can give yourself grace, where you can start to take care of the other parts of your life before you start to attack food. Before you start to really like, well, I had too many carbs or I had too much sugar. You always had too much sugar. Let's just lay that out there. Let's go to where you need to fill up. Maybe it's your faith. Maybe you need to know Jesus. Maybe you need to read the Bible a little bit more, spend some more alone time. Maybe you need to give yourself a little bit more forgiveness for whatever you've been through. Maybe you need to heal some relationships. Uh, maybe you need to get moving. I mean, fitness is a big part of it as well. You need to sleep more. There's lots of things you can do. So when you fi find yourself thinking uh, solely about food this week and you know it's January and everybody's kind of on that kick, go somewhere else. Go to how you're feeling instead. Go there for a second. All right, the other thing that I'm doing right now that is very exciting to me and that I'm going to share with you next week, I hope, is you know how much I love memorization? Like I feel like memorizing scripture and memorizing quotes is really, really important. I put a whole bunch together and I've been focusing on memorizing it and it's all kind of fear focused because fear is a big one in my life and for a lot of people as well and because I just read, um, uh, oh my goodness, what's her name? Um, Do It Afraid by Joyce Meyer. So good, highly recommend. So I put together a whole bunch of verses and I memorized them and I'm going to do that for you live or to tape live next week and then I'll share the I'll share it with you so hopefully you can go and memorize it as well because it's very very inspirational um, and it's a great one to help you if you're constantly dealing with fear all right I hope that helped I hope you get something out of it uh, find me kirsten lindquistcom or kirsten lindquistnet that's my website you can find all the links for everything books um, my contact list blogs all those fun things because I would love to be able to help you out in any way that you need it God bless.